So still doing partial fractions here, integration. This time it's going to be a quadratic function over a quadratic function. So this is a quadratic, this is a factorized quadratic. Now you might look at the factorized quadratic and think I can split that, uh, but that makes life difficult here because we don't get like a nice neat A, B um, like, we, like we have in the other examples. So what we can do instead is expand the bottom and you'll see why in a minute. Actually, let's not bother with the integration. Let's just deal with the fraction for now. So we've got x squared plus 6x minus 1 over uh, x squared plus 5x uh, plus 4. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of like mathematical trickery here. We're going to make the top, or at least part of the top, look the same as the bottom. So it'll be, um, the bottom's going to remain the same x squared plus 5x plus 4, and then I'm going to change the top to be identical to the bottom, x squared plus 5x plus 4, but that's not equal, but I can make it equal by adding a correcting factor, so 5x, 6x, I need one more x to do that, and uh, negative 1, positive 4, to turn negative 1 into, well, sorry, to turn positive 4 into negative 1, I'd need to subtract 5. So if we grouped our terms now, now 5x plus x will be 6x, true, and 4 minus 5 will be negative 1. So this is, this is identical to this. But what it allows me to do is break this up now into x squared plus 5x plus 4 over x squared plus 5x plus 4 plus, because that's just this bit here, plus x minus 5 over x squared plus 5x plus 4. Now, this is uh, top and bottom the same, so now we've got 1 plus x minus 5 over x squared plus 5x plus 4, but remember that x squared plus 5x plus 4, x squared plus 5x plus 4, is actually x plus 4, x plus 1. So here's where I can start just doing a partial fraction. I can just ignore the 1 for a minute, and I can do x plus 4 bracket, uh, x plus 1 bracket, over, over, and here's my a, and here's my b, and now to add those, a times x plus 1, b times x plus 4, all of that's going to be sort of over each other. So now I have a bracket x plus 1 plus b bracket x plus 4 over x plus 4 times x plus 1. And I'll just tidy that up. So now that it's all tidy, I can do a little like therefore. Therefore, uh, make sure I'm not falling off the screen, x minus 5 equals a bracket x plus 1 um, plus b bracket x plus 4 and we can let x equal negative 1 so that's going to be negative 6 uh, negative 1 is going to cancel out the a and we're going to have negative 1 plus 4 3 3b three we're going to have b equals negative 2 and if I let x equal 4 I'll have uh, 4 minus 5 is negative 1 equals 5a. That'll cancel out. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. X should be negative 4. So negative 4, negative 5, negative 9. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. We've got negative 3a, so a equals 3. So b is negative 2, a is 3. I can come back in here um, and I can, I can work from there with an a value and a b value. So now, uh, coming back to our, our integral, what we're really finding is the integral of 1 plus, so the a is uh, 3, over x plus 4 plus 
the B was negative 2, so I can just do a negative 2 there, can't I? Negative 2 over x plus 1. With respect to x. And then it's really just uh, integrating that. So the integral of 1 is x. The integral of 3 on x plus 4 is uh, 3 log base e x plus 4 and uh, oops, the integral is negative 2 log base e um, x plus 1 and then you just need to play in here to figure out uh, how large x needs to be, what our domain is. Uh, looks like x needs to be at least for x is greater than uh, negative 1. Alright, so quite a bit of work there but that's uh, that's the deal.